heard about Montessori Institute Prague on the AMI website. Um, I knew I wanted to do the AMI diploma and I was looking for an English speaking course and MIP came up. Um, and when I contacted Mirka, uh, I had um, an online interview with her and really loved the sound of how the course was structured and it fitted with what I wanted. I came into Montessori um, by accident. Um, I, I worked in education before in the state system in the UK and my family and I moved to France when my children were quite young um, and we were choosing a school for my eldest um, and having visited a few schools uh, I didn't even stop to think once we'd seen the Montessori school and saw that the, the pedagogy was so in line with our own thinking, my husband and myself, that the child was the center. You followed the child um, and you made opportunities for the child to learn. I, that, that's, what, that's what learning was about for me. Um, so it's because of that school, because of my son, first of all, and then my daughter, um, experiencing the Montessori education and way that I started reading about it more and discovering more. Um, and it's, it's really everything I, all of the bits of teaching that I enjoyed before are very much in line with what Montessori talks about when it comes to the child. Um, and I think it's just, her writing is clear on, on the purpose of why we present to the children in the way that we do. It's, it's not about teaching, it's about their learning and that's a really key difference. I chose to work with children between 6 to 12 because um, I'd actually trained to be a teacher before. Um, I was a secondary school teacher, so I worked with children from 11 up to 19. Um, and I thought that's what I would enjoy the most because I thought it would be where the most interesting conversations would happen with the children. Um, but actually having my own children made me discover that right from the moment they can speak, they're asking fascinating questions and making me think about how to answer them uh, in the most accessible ways for them. Um, and the more I did with my own children and my children's friends, um, the more I saw this was true of all children. Um, I started volunteering at my school and really enjoyed the children in this age group, the, the how and the why questions and the openness to hear um, real answers and to figure it out for themselves is really beautiful to see. I, I love watching children learn and I think you see it in a really clear way at, at this age. They're asking the questions, they're ready to hear the answers and they're ready to make that into their own understanding all at the same time and you get to watch that when you're working with this age children. The most special thing about Carla, I think, is that she is just a complete and utter bank of knowledge. Um, she seems to know everything about everything. Um, she, she is a walking set of albums and you can ask her a question about any part of the course and she is able to answer it from about 10 different angles all at the same time. So yeah, her, um, her mind is really quite wonderful to watch in action. Kyla does a lot of things that make me smile. Um, I think actually her smile and her, um, her manner with all of us, it, it makes you relax straight away. 
um, and the 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 humour that she shares um, is something really special and beautiful. Um, she she's Canadian, as is my mother-in-law, and um, so I enjoy the Canadian sense of humour and the teasing that happens around everything. Um, she's very easygoing. She's very natural to be with. Um, yeah, you feel like you're working with a real person, somebody who understands and um, and wants you to smile. She she wants you to enjoy what you're doing because she she believes in it. Studying in COVID times is very strange. Um, uh, I last was at university almost 20 years ago, and so online wasn't a thing then either. Um, so I've never studied in this fashion. Um, it wasn't something that we were expecting when we started the course. There was, in fact, it was almost anti-technology at the beginning, and now we're full-on technology. So there's been a lot of learning to do, um, but at the same time, it's, it's an adaptation, it's a, a collaboration, and it's really interesting for me to see how the training's developed as a result of it. It's not been, it's not been a stop point, it's just been a change, which is interesting. My favorite story, song, and activity from the course is probably the food factory. The leaf is a food factory and the song that goes with that is We All Live in a Food Factory, um, which is based on We All Live in a Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. But that said, I really enjoy writing songs with the children in my class and we wrote a beautiful song last year, which is based on We Will Rock You by Queen. Um, and we call it We Will Love You and the the lyrics are based around the three special gifts of humans, the brain to think and reason, the heart to love with, and the hands to make and create with. So I'm going to tell you the story of the food factory, the leaf as a food factory. And we've been looking at a lot about at plants. We've been looking at the different parts of the plant. We've been looking at the root and the stem and the leaves. And today we're going to look especially at the leaves. We know that a plant needs water and that it gets it through its roots. And we also know that a plant needs light and that it gets it through the sun. But I, I wonder what the plant does with those things. Water is made up of atoms. It's made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And the green color in the leaf, along with the sunlight, the energy from the sun, it enables the water to be separated into hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms. But what does the plant do with this? I've got a chart that's going to help us to imagine what's happening in the food factory, what's happening in the leaf. Can you see the water coming up from the roots into our leaf here? The water's coming up in the elevator. And here the workers are separating out those atoms we were talking about into hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms. Here, we see the carbon dioxide from the air being brought into the leaf as well. And then the carbon dioxide and the hydrogen from the water are mixed up in a great big bowl together. Here we have one of the workers in the leaf throwing away the oxygen that's not needed. The hydrogen and the oxygen were separated out from the water and the oxygen's not needed in this process. But this is really good for us and for animals because we need the oxygen in respiration. So we breathe in the oxygen and then we breathe out the carbon dioxide back into the air that comes into our leaf. So we've got the mixing together of the hydrogen from the water and the carbon dioxide from the air. 
And then this part of our chart shows it's as if this mixture can then be made into food for the plant, which is then taken back down tubes to go to all the different parts of the plant. So our leaf is behaving as a food factory. And just like with factories, we have some workers that work the night shift and some workers that work the day shift. The workers in the leaf do shifts too. So this process, this part of the process where the water is separated into the hydrogen atoms and the oxygen atoms, this uses a lot of energy. So it's at this point that the energy from the sun is used. This part happens during the daytime. But this part here uses less energy. So these workers can carry on making the food during the night. And in this way, the leaf gets all, makes all of the food that the plant needs and the plant gets all of the food that it needs to grow and to function. And that's the end of my story today. The thing I enjoy the most about this course is um, the interactions with people, definitely. Um, both people during the course, the people in the administration and the trainers as well. Um, I think the, the amount of knowledge that comes together to, to build the big picture is really beautiful. And um, yeah, I like the experience of sharing those discoveries with each other. <laughs>